All right, Foodie Jules here. My voice is off. I am not feeling the greatest right now. I think I have a little bit of a cold. Maybe COVID? Probably a cold. I can still kind of smell and taste despite a little bit of congestion. I think it's I think it's just a cold, but today I'm going to be meal prepping and just showing you what I eat for dinner when I'm sick. I'm basically making porridge in my Zojirushi rice cooker. Got some short grain. I think this is short grain. It might be medium grain, but it is glutinous, sticky white rice, the, the kind you find in like sushi restaurants or Korean or Japanese restaurants. Got half a cup of this and then six parts of water, so three cups of water um, with this washed uh, half cup of rice. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of this instant dashi, hon dashi. You can get these in the Japanese grocery store, Asian supermarket. Very fishy. Uh, kind of looks like fish food. I'll put a little bit of that in. That might be a little bit too much. But yeah, basically, I'm going to cook this porridge. With this rice cooker, it's really easy. You just literally uh, select the menu option. And there's a lot of menu options, which is nice. We have the porridge, and then I'm going to set it. Makes a cute little jingle sound, and we're going to wait until this cooks. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and cook, um, or close to when this is being done. I'm going to make some accompaniments to go with this rice porridge or kanji. Cool. All right, Foodie Jules here. We got some porridge. It didn't turn out that great. I think this could be popped a little bit more, honestly. I don't know. It looks... I feel like this could have been made a little bit better over the pot, but this will do. Not bad for a rice cooker. I'm going to go ahead and cook some accompaniments to go with this, and we'll go from there. All right, folks, here's the final plating. I kind of mix my kanji a little bit. We've got some eggs, some chili flake, or chili crisp, rather, some pork floss, some chopped scallions. I put a little Maggie seasoning in there. Basically, you can just mix it up how, how you like. Like, I always aim for textural contrast, so this pork floss is definitely kind of sweet and kind of crispy. It has a very distinct texture. Um, kind of a... Uh, Kind of like thin, crispy strands. Not very crispy, um, but thin, delicate. Hard to describe. Crispy, but delicate strands. Got this umami uh, flavor from the Maggie. The chili crisp gives, this one specifically gives a nice anchovy, spicy flavor. And these garlic, uh, chopped garlic peanuts really do the trick. But I'm going to go ahead and give this a try. Try to get a little bit of everything in one bite. Get a little scallion in there. Let's give it a taste. Overall, very good. Very comforting, very satisfying. You get sweet, salty, umami, like the softness of the kanji and the egg, a little crispness of the pork floss. I might add a little more so that it retains its general crisp. But overall, you should try this kanji when you're sick. It'll warm your heart, warm your soul. And yeah, that's Foodie Jewels, Cooking Jewels, signing out.